Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS ROG G17 2023 model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can clean up the fan system, the heat sink and replace the thermal paste and liquid metal on these models. They do share, get shipped with a CPU, with a liquid metal and the GPU with a thermal paste. You can either change both of them to thermal paste or you can go with liquid metal on board. I'm going to show you and uh, pretty much how you can clean it up and how you can move it or if you want to, what are the options you have and what are the differences. Just remember by doing any servicing, you're not going to damage your system or change the configuration or anything like that. It's totally safe. All you need to do is some tools, proper tools and materials and take a little bit of your time. Don't rush and you'll be safe. All right, first thing first, power off the laptop. And you want to flip it upside down. I'll be using a workshop towel to work on top, but don't scratch it. I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. A good tool is an iFixit screwdriver set. If you get the pro set, it's they offer you with the opening tool some tweezers. If not, just get the basic set. They do have an S2 class steel metal. These are hardened metals. That means they will last you many years. You're going to be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. If you did get a pro set, you want to use the opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a metallic guitar pick. These are really suitable to opening cases and covers without scratching. Uh, plastic rod spatula is really good and handy to have. It is useful. And a curved tweezers, it is necessarily to have. Now, you need a very important one, alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. 99% or if you can get a 95 that's fine but try to get the purity of the 99% you need one sheet of the workshop towel or two sheets depending how much you want to waste the reason I use workshop towel because it can it will not damage the component as soon as you put alcohol on top of this one and you try to clean over the capacitors this one will rip but the capacitors will stay safe but if you use microfiber to clean up, you can tangle between the capacitors and damage them. So use a workshop towel. Now, for thermal paste, you can either go with the Thermal Grizzly uh, Extreme for the paste on both, on CPU and GPU. The difference with test between this one and the liquid metal that they have in here is about two or three Celsius difference. And this one, even, the advantage is not conductive. So you can use this one and clean up the liquid metal and put this one for two or three celsius i'd rather be on a safe side but if you want you can reuse the liquid metal if the liquid metal is still runny and it's not dried up all right i'm gonna open up the laptop right now so let's go ahead and open up the laptop first when you're facing when you have it upside down the front is facing you you don't want to touch the right screw on the front end leave it for the last because it has a little c lock on it i'll show you in a second you're gonna remove the rest of the screws and the sizes of the screws, the short ones are in the front end, three of them, and three long screws, two at the back mid, one in the middle, these are the long screws, and the mediums are the sides and the back corners. So go ahead and remove all of them and leave them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we remove all the screws, I'm going to go over this single screw that I was talking about. As soon as I start twitching, rotating this one, you're going to see the gap opening between the bottom cover and the palm rest right there. And you want to keep rotating and then you hear a click sound, few clicks. That's when you want to stop. And now we're going to stick the guitar pick between these two openings and we're going to work ourselves on the front. Just we're going to wobble around, just go like this and then you can see separation between them. If you see a, hear a big click sound, that's normal. That's what you want to hear, those soft or big loud sounds. Those are the clips are getting loose. You want to do that on the left and right side by the USB ports right there, by the grill. Let me go this way so you guys can see. There we go, all the way almost to the back. And now we're going to do the 
other side. I don't know if it's left or right anymore. So I'll do the both side. Once we did the both side, you don't need to do the back, but if you want to go and do it, go ahead and do the back lining too, quickly. All right, there we go. Now you don't want to release the bottom cover or let it drop because there's a flex cable. So you want to lift it up, bring it up like this towards yourself. And then you're going to see these two flex cables. You're going to detach this flex cable by lifting up this black cover on the back side. You can see it right there. Bring it up 90 degrees and slide the flex cable towards the fan. Same thing here. Lift it up 90 degree lock and slide it back. So you can use a toothbrush to clean up the dark, the fan system right in here, the ventilation. And right away, we can see the whole system here, cooling system. There is the CPU and there's your GPU. So what are you gonna do first? You're gonna disconnect the battery by pushing this metal cover right here towards back about one millimeter only. And we're gonna stick the plastic right underneath the jack. Now we're gonna twist it and it's gonna release the battery. Okay, now we are gonna remove this tape right away here. There we go. We are gonna use it a little bit. And remove the gaffer's tape. These are for the LCD cables and the uh, webcam. To disconnect this one, I'm not gonna pull on the cable. I'm gonna put my fingernails on, on the side of the white jack. I'm gonna pull it backward, and there we go. For this one, we're gonna pull this flip thing right in here. We're gonna grab this and pull it towards the ceiling while you're folding the board, like that. Just pull, pull it up, and that's the connector for the LCD. All right, there, there's no other thing to do here. So right now, first we're gonna remove the three screws for the fan in here and three screws for the fan on the left and right side. The fan system will come out. And if you don't wanna remove the whole heat sink, you just regularly open it up and with a toothbrush clean up the fan system. Don't pull these cables, just use your fingernails or a tweezer to disconnect the fan connectors right there. You can take it outside with a toothbrush to clean up the, the fan fins. Same thing in here, disconnect this jack, just pull and shoot it backward. And remove the three screws. Now see if this fan is gonna come out. There you go. Put it right there. Take it outside and clean it. There is a screw on the corners in here. We need to remove these screws. And this screw on the left and one on the right. Once you remove those screws, pretty much it's getting easier. Now all you need to do, you can see it's, it is already loose. Remove the four screws on the CPU and four screws on the GPU and single screw right over here. So that one. All the screws are the same size and height. Now, there's a screw right under this cover. This is for the warranty. You can just take it off and put it on the side. Now, remove the screw. Okay, remove the screw right in here on this foil tape. So this foil tape too gets attached to the heat sink. Just lift it up, bring it like that. Now you want to give it closer to the CPU and GPU and you want to lift it upward, straight upward, gently, bring it up, take it over and then flip it over on the other side. And then you can see the thermal paste on the GPU and the liquid metal right on the CPU. These are called the thermal putty, do not put thermal pads in here. 
These thermal parties are fine. You don't need to replace them unless yours is really old. I'll leave a link where you can purchase your thermal party. They do come with a tiny uh, containers. You can just clean it up uh, you can, or just add on top of them. They are pretty much, they don't get really hot, so they're not overclocked. All you need to do is to clean the CPU and the GPU. And I can see the, for this from fabrication, I can see the liquid metal is right over these things here in here. And they still have a little liquid metal on top. But it's still kind of dry right there, dry right here. So we're gonna add a little drop right on top of that so it can be fine. So to clean up the thermal paste in here, so we're gonna grab a little bit of workshop towel and then alcohol. And we're gonna wipe over the thermal paste. It is kind of dried up, so you can see. It is very dried. So we're gonna remove the excess of the thermal paste right in here. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing on the GPU. Grab another sheet. And clean it up. You can flip it. You can see the what I'm talking about? You see the capacitor will damage the towel, but it will not damage itself. Now you can grab your favorite thermal page. You can go thermal grizzly, cryonaut, or you can go extreme, or you can go noctua. This client wants to go with a noctua, so we're gonna put one drop of the noctua right in the middle. Right there. And for the liquid metal, we're gonna put one drop right in here. So let me see if I can get mine. So there we have my little bit. Uh, I'd rather put it on a heatsink than score it right over here. So you can, I don't wanna damage or spill all over the place. So I'm gonna do it in here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of workshop towel. I'm gonna actually move this laptop to one side. And I'm gonna work in here. So I'm gonna squeeze one tiny drop right on top. There you go. One tiny drop right over there. And tiny drop right on top. That's all you need. And then what you wanna do use a Cotton tape, just smoosh it right over. If it's not, you can just grab it on top of the cotton tape and bring it on the C CPU. And just squish it right on top. There you go, just like that and do the same thing on both sides. A little bit goes very long, so just put a little bit, squish right on top and you'll be fine. So there we go. Now you can see the thermal paste and everything is fine. If you wanna change your thermal party, change them. And again, with that workshop towel, you can clean them, but these are perfectly fine. They're fresh. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip it over on the outside and bring it over evenly. And then I'm gonna sit it down. I don't wanna move it or lift it up again. I'll bring it down straight. I'll look down in the screw holes. And put it down nicely right over. Once we have it right over, we're just gonna put the screws. They have a little number on them. It says one, two, is it three, four? Is cross screwing them? So always cross screw the screws. Don't forget to put the screw for the foil tape right on top. And squeeze it down. Put the Fan, if you cleaned yours, put the fan system on the side here. You slide the jack right inside the connector. 
This one could go underneath, over, doesn't matter. I put it right on top, so you can go under on top, doesn't make any difference. Put the three screws for the left hand and three screws for the right hand. And put the tiny screws on the heatsink on the corner so it doesn't sag down when you flip it that way. Before putting the fan in, I rather put the connector, it makes it gives me enough room to work. And then put the fan, the bottom corner in first, and then set it down. Put the three screws. Now we're going to run these cables. This is for the webcam, I believe. So put this one right on top. The flex cable for the LCD. Push down the connector straight inside the jack. It makes a tiny click, that's what you want to hear. And grab this gaffer's tape. Put the gaffer's tape right over. There we go. Now, before we put the, it is nicely in place. Before we put the battery in, I'm gonna connect the connectors for the bottom casing here. So I'm gonna bring this one straight from the back side down. So I'm gonna open up the jack right there. I'm gonna squeeze it from back there, from behind there, and lock it down. Same thing in here. Make sure the lock is 90 degrees facing up. Bring it in. Lock it down. Now for the uh, battery, make sure the lock is all the way pushed back. Bring it evenly on top of the jack, and then you want to push it right on the motherboard straight down the same way that you did for this one. All right, once you're done with that, double check, make sure everything is in place nicely. All the screws are tightened up. I forgot to put the warranty label thing right on top of the screw. Nicely in place. Now we're going to flip it over, put it down, squeeze the back side. Make sure you hit those tiny clicks. They should make a click sound. If it doesn't make a click sound, it's because the cables are not in place. Make sure the cables are nicely tucked down. You don't want to damage them. These cables, they have to go right through these grooves. There you go, nicely there. Nicely in place. Now you're going to put it there. As soon as I put, it makes nice click sound. That's what you want to do, left and right. Do not push down on the screw on the corner. That's what you don't want to do. You just want to screw it down and it will pull the cover to itself. And the last thing is to just put the bottom screws on top. If you see any gap opening, just pinch them together and that should be fine. If you turn on the laptop and it's not turning on because you need to connect the charger first, wait five to 10 seconds and then power it on and it's gonna work fine. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws.